Okay, so we've got differentiation from first principles, whereas this beginning bit doesn't really have to do with that. Um, we've got a curve and a line, and we're going to find out where they meet. So x to the 4 equals 8x. Move everything to the same side. We're going to take x outside the bracket, and we get x cubed minus 8. So x equals 0, which we can already see, and x cubed equals 8. So therefore, we end up with x equals 2, so the cube root of 8. And y is going to be 2 to the power of 4, which is simply going to be 16. So my coordinates, so my part a here, is just going to be 2, 16. And if I want to find out the area bounded by the line and the curve, so what I'm going to have is the bit that's shaded. So I've got a triangle minus this area here, which is underneath the curve between um, Q or the coordinate at Q and O. So I am going to integrate x to the 4 between my x coordinate, which I got to be 2, and 0. So I get x to the 5 over 5 between 2 and 0, which is going to be 32 over 5. And I want to take that away from the triangle, which this length here is my is 2, and that's 16. So half of 2 is 1. 1 times 16 is 16. So I'm doing 16 minus 32 over 5. And so the area equals um, and so we get 9.6 um, square units. Um, anyway, in part A it also said to show that the area is 16, we didn't do that. So we just kind of do a half times the base times the height It's just going to be 16. Okay, the second part of this question, you were given that fx equals x to the power of 4. So it says to complete the identity. So essentially you're using binomial expansion to open this out. So we've got x plus h to the 4, which will be x to the floor plus 4x cubed h plus 6x squared h squared, 4xh cubed plus h to the 4, and the equal, in the formula that we use to do that is from our binomial expansion, where we have a plus b to the n. Then we're told we've got fx plus h, and we're minusing fx divided by h. So now we're just doing it step by step, they are simplifying it. So if from this equation I minus x to the 4, that bit's going to cancel. I can also see I've got some like terms to put together. I've got um, no, 4x cubed. Oh no, I haven't any like terms to put together. Ignore me there. We have instead, we're going to divide all of this now by h. So there's a h on the top and a h on the bottom. So that goes, that goes, that becomes q squared and that becomes cubed. Leaving me with 4x cubed plus 6x squared h plus 4x h squared plus h cubed. And we then say, as h goes towards 0, 6x squared h, 4x h squared and h cubed um, all tend to 0. Therefore, f dash x equals... If we see that we've cancelled everything out, we're left with 4x cubed. And the limit, if you want to say, actually represents, yes, the gradient, but it's the gradient of the tangent to the curve. And that's what that 